Paratus, the company that is changing the game in delivering quality and unlimited networks to businesses in Namibia, is now powering our Game Changers series. And we're talking to some of the people at Paratus who think big and are helping to take Paratus to the next game-changing level. In the studio today for the Paratus Game Changers is the main character, Barney Haramsa. Now, Barney is well known to many, but what people don't realize is just how dynamic and kind he is. Together with his co-founders, Barney had the vision, the can-do attitude, and the sheer grit to lead Paratus to become a telecommunications force in Africa. Now, one thing few know is that apart from being a force in business, he is also a champion wrestler. Barney, welcome to Game Changers. Good to meet you, Script. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming through. Now, wrestling is quite a tactical sport. What have you learned from it and how can you apply those lessons to your approach to life? Very hard work. Every day, five, six days a week, get up early, uh, apply a lot of discipline, make sure that you fit, think about different scenarios, different uh, difficult scenarios that you find yourself in, mm -hmm. and make sure you get out of it. <laughs> Okay, and you end up on top. Mm -hmm. In the wrestling, if you're on top, you win. It's as simple as that. Same as in business. If you're on top, you win. Mm -hmm. What keeps you inspired to push Paratas on to greater heights, even 17 years on? Mm, the passion, the attitude, just working with uh, wonderful people every day, uh, making plans to grow the company, making plans to empower people, uh, making plans to uh, create prosperity for those in the family. Uh, if you wake up in the morning and you can do something good, you can build something extra, uh, then it's an achievement by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Could you name some of the proudest moments that you've had with Paratas over these years? <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> <sighs> There's been many. Mm -hmm. So we started the company with nothing, literally zero. And then you, you, you know, you, you come up with the idea, you say, guys, come on, let's, uh, let's start something. And then you go to the bank and you um, apply for a loan or you apply for an overdraft or you uh, take out a second or a third or a fourth bond on your house. And you start out with two, three people, perhaps six people, and then you start growing the company. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you reach certain milestones. Those milestones is, is your achievement. So mm -hmm. you start setting up the first country, you start setting up the second country, the third country, mm -hmm. until you reach the stage where we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had many accomplishments, uh, significant accomplishments in our almost 20 year history. You know, we've, uh, in, in, as far as Namibia is concerned, we've uh, constructed the Transcolari Fiber, which was a significant milestone for the country. Mm -hmm. We're busy build, building the cable landing station for the Equiano cable, mm -hmm. which is the Google Equiano cable. Uh, we are busy finishing DC number three, data center number three in Lusaka. As we speak, we will inaugurate that data center on the 20th of July. We've built two data centers in Luanda and Angola. Um, Skalk, our chief operations officer, uh, will start with our data center in Namibia or just north of Vintuk. In the next week or so, that will be data center number four. Mm -hmm. the, it's an endless list mm -hmm. of accomplishments. The important thing is we don't stop. And um, when we go to bed tonight or when we wake up tomorrow morning, we'll have new ideas mm -hmm. uh, on how to tackle it and how to grow the network. With all that said, what is your biggest dream for the company? I've already achieved that. I think everybody that works for the company has already achieved that. We've got a, we've got a magnificent company. We've got 450 people that works for us across Africa. We provide product and service in 28 African countries. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a, a turnover of approximately a billion um, rand Namibia dollars. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've achieved so much already. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, the, the next step from here is see how, how we can diversify mm -hmm. and uh, think of uh, something new uh, that we can apply across the group. And not only the traditional telecommunications or internet service provider services we've been involved in so mm -hmm. far, but to expand and diversify and see how we can grow bigger. But we've, we've certainly achieved a lot. Mm -hmm. We've accomplished a lot. Um, our nature doesn't allow us 
to sit back and sit still and say, well, okay, now we've achieved so much or these are the milestones that we've achieved. Uh, maybe we can take a breather. Mm-hmm. We only take a breather once a month. Mm-hmm. The last Friday of the month, we have a braai. <laughs> and that goes for all the countries in Africa. Mm-hmm. We have a braai and that's the breather. Break Monday, mm-hmm. be back in business. Barney, what do you love and value most about your life? Life itself. Mm. Mm. Don't you think it's awesome to be alive? It's to a, live every day? It's a great feeling. Okay, so we are living our dream. Uh, we, we're building stuff. And uh, we, we're building infrastructure across the continent, which makes the experience for our customers better. Mm-hmm. Um, we invest in infrastructure to invest in our future. Uh, we actually... Uh, have customers that are very pleased with our service. Doesn't matter if it's enterprise customers, businesses, or consumers. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get compliments every day of the service that we provide. Uh, that is it. That is that is a great satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Um, it's inspiring, and and it keeps us going. It it uh, it motivates us to do better mm-hmm. as we go along. As Group CEO of a Pan African operator and service provider, how is Paratus a game changer in Africa? Oh, we move quickly. Mm. We move with speed. We move with passion. The, the speed, the ingenuity, there's quite a number of factors that makes us different mm. and makes us a game changer. But we have the right attitude. We've got the right passion in everything that we do. Mm. Um, we've got a vision. And uh, the, the quality that we applied is, is, is also, I think, a game changer. Mm-hmm. But... Um, uh, the, the comfort zone that we find ourselves in at the moment is is uh, um, is not sustainable. So we have to diversify. We are looking at changing um, the environment again. So there will be a few game changers as far as the telco or as far as the service provider industry is concerned. Mm-hmm. Uh, every morning we wake up early, very early in the morning, and we start working out, we make, we make plans. On that note, Barney, you are our game changer of the day, lover of life, champion, um, and very much so in every capacity mm-hmm. as a group CEO, mm-hmm. a game changer. Mm. But no credit to me. Mm. All the credit goes to my team, my entire team across Africa. Well done, guys. Tomorrow we continue with the fight. Thank you for watching. That was Barney Haramsa. Stay tuned for Ian Grisso, our next game changer. Ian is a high performance guy who understands how to support and unlock the potential of his sales team to achieve success. As part of the Paratus Group sales, Ian Grasso shares his expertise to support and empower his team while innovating solutions that take their service offering to the next level. Now, outside of the office, he is known to cook up a storm and he enjoys extreme sports. We welcome Ian to Game Changers. Thank you. Um, let's, let's get right into it. How would you describe yourself? Um, so from my side, I would say energetic, mm-hmm. okay, um, a team player, a team builder. Mm-hmm. I like um, sharing my knowledge with staff mm-hmm. or, and with uh, colleagues. Mm-hmm. Um, a fighter, mm-hmm. don't give up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I've learned also from or one of the extreme sports. I guess would be mountain biking. So don't give up. Mm-hmm. You can always. Um, even if you have a flat tire or something like that, somewhere along the line, mm-hmm. you're going to catch your opponent. Perhaps, perhaps your opponent also gets a flat tire. Yeah, you know. So don't give up. Um, and um, aggressive at times, very friendly, mm-hmm. loving. A lot, a lot, a lot going on there. Yeah. Um, well, apart from putting together the most beautiful recipes in the kitchen, <laughs> what else do you enjoy in your free time? You mentioned uh, cycling. Yes, yes. So the recipe is all put together with a glass of red wine. Very okay. important. Very okay. important. Um, yeah, so I enjoy mountain biking, uh, road cycling. Uh, I've been trying a bit of swimming. Mm-hmm. Not easy if you weren't brought <laughs> up with swimming. Yeah. Um, camping, um, red wine tasting, mm-hmm. and a little bit of jogging. Just, uh, just enough. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to overdo it because the knees are <laughs> cranky. So most of the cardio comes in from the cycling. Yes. Uh, we'll take that. So let's let's get to the root of it. You've been with Paratus for 17 years. Crazy. Huh? Long time. <clears throat> what was the most game-changing moment 
of your time there so far that you can think back on? Sure. You know, there have been many. Because yeah. uh, for us, in, in the sales department, obviously in sales, it's all about building up a relationship, getting the customer, getting them to sign. Mm -hmm. um, so it's taken, it's been an exciting 17 years and actually doesn't really feel like 17 years. It feels mm -hmm. more like three years. At yeah. Times, you know, it's all gone, gone by through so fast. Um, so there's been a few, as I said, and one of the, one of the game changers that does stand out is we sold a, a ring connectivity solution to a customer. So mm -hmm. connecting all of their branches in all of their countries throughout Southern Africa mm -hmm. where we have connectivity, mm -hmm. um, giving them one big ring. Um, and it's a bank that we did this for, mm -hmm. connecting them to South Africa, to their HQ. Mm. And so that was an exciting project to work on from yeah. the start to getting them, giving them the ideas. We actually yeah. presented them with the idea. They liked mm. the idea, um, quoted them, signed, they signed off and yeah. implementation. Yeah. That was exciting indeed. Uh, game changing indeed. Now, we, we spoke briefly about, uh, you know, cooking up a storm and, and recipes. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the magic ingredients that you use personally um, to achieve success and maybe as part of your team as well? Uh, so from a work perspective for me, I still, I still kind of believe in old school, still customer is always first, mm -hmm. customer is right. Mm -hmm. So from my side, customer is right, service, 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 mm -hmm. very important, mm -hmm. makes us different, we stand out. And, try and, and then from building the customer, so building customer from, so you go in, build a relationship, offer the service, mm -hmm. Customer signs, keep on building the relationship, mm -hmm. grow it, and try and offer more services for the customer. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not a case, kind of, so not a case of just going in, signing, leaving, leaving, yeah. But try and keep that relationship with the customer, and sometimes they even become friends. Yeah, they come visit you at the office, have a coffee. Yeah, yes. Um, I just want to pick the the brain just one last time. Um, quick fire questions before I let you go. Sure. Okay. Nothing <laughs> intrusive or invasive. All right. First thing that comes to your mind. Time or money? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Everyone should... Time, money. That money. Is, yes. More money to make more time. You're correct. Let's or more that. money buys you more time. Well, apparently. Apparently. Yes. Okay. Um, invisibility or flight? Flight. The ability to fly. Yes. I think, I think that's one I'll choose as well. Lastly, if you could be stuck in the elevator with one person, dead or alive, oh. for a five, ten minute conversation... Who would it be and why? That's a good one. I think just, just for the hell of it, Mick Jagger. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be the best I don't know 10 what, minutes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to ask you, but maybe I can't put it on air. Yeah. <laughs> <But laughs> it would be interesting to find out about his life um, if the, from what he can remember, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mick Jagger quite, it is. Mick Jagger must be quite a character to, to talk to. I can imagine. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, Ian, our game changer, and uh, thank you for joining us for yet another episode, an insightful episode of Game Changers brought to us by Paratus. Catch us again next week as we speak with another member of the Paratus team who is changing the game. <laughs>